Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Average Guy Survival. It is, uh, actually, what time is it? 9.25 a.m. here in Southern Florida, and I am already dripping. It is hot and humid. But uh, that's not the point of my video today. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to be talking a little bit about security. Um, something I've been very focused on is food security. That's why I've been planting you know, massive amounts of food, fruit trees, that sort of thing. Because you know, even a couple years ago, you know, I was thinking, yeah, we're probably going to have some food shortages the way things are starting to go. And uh, here we are. We're in the beginning stages of some food shortages. You, know, you can't get baby formula in a lot of places. Um, we've got uh, food processing plants that are burning down. That's a coincidence, right? And uh, you know, recently there was like, I think they estimated somewhere between two and 10,000 cows that just dropped dead, right? So anyway, um, security. Like I said, I've been focusing a lot on food security, but not so much on physical security. We did put up a fence a couple of years ago, which I'm standing next to right now, uh, we put this fence up. We wanted one anyway, but what really triggered it was my wife came home for lunch break one day and there's a couple of kids loading bags of uh, star fruit off of our tree. We lost every single piece of star fruit from that particular, that particular season. We estimate it was about 80, 85 pounds of fruit that they just took off with. And I mean, at that point, we weren't even in the situation we're in now where you can't get a lot of things. So it's not like they were desperate for food, they were just being jerks. So anyway, um, security. My fence is here, and as you can see, I am running barbed wire along the top edge. Partially, that is to keep animals out and in. Um, I just have welded wire fence, it's not strong but I don't have big animals. I mean, my goats aren't gonna go through it. My dog's not gonna go through it. Chickens certainly aren't gonna go through it. So, um, so no concerns there. The biggest threat to small livestock though is the domestic dog or you know, stray dogs, basically. Uh, that's actually what happened to my meat rabbits. I had four big meat rabbits and a couple of dogs came on the property and no more meat rabbits. Um, I would like to replace those eventually, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so a fence is a very good deterrent for animals getting in and animals getting out. The idea of the barbed wire is, I live in a decent community. I mean, most of the people here are, are fine. Um, I don't expect that even if things got really hard that I would have most of my neighbors, you know, trying to come take anything from me, but, it is a rural community, and for some reason, rural communities just seem to have an issue with certain substances. I don't people get bored. I'm not sure. So, I mean, I, we do have people walking by the house on a fairly regular basis that um, are a little unsavory, but we get a sidewalk in front of the house here and people walk by. So, I mean, it's, I'm not hiding anything. You can see what I'm doing. Um, my gardens, my trees, and all that stuff. So, if people, do get desperate I mean, they're gonna come here I mean some of them anyway they're gonna come here and try to take what I have I'm perfectly happy to share with anybody who's who's you know gonna come and ask for something I, I'll give them eggs I'll give them vegetables fruit whatever um, you know when I have an excess but uh, I'm not okay with somebody just coming and taking it so anyway with this barbed wire it's more than likely somebody's gonna come here at night to, to take what's not theirs. They're not gonna do it in broad daylight, most likely. So, you know, these barbs, these are pretty sharp, nasty things. And um, I think that's gonna be a good deterrent. Uh, if somebody is trying to jump my fence, they're gonna find out in a hurry that's a bad idea. So anyway, um, that is just uh, something I wanted to share this morning. I'm going to end this video now and get back to work before it hits 100 degrees, which it most likely will. Um, like you see, I'm already dripping, like I said. It's probably 85 degrees out here with about a million percent humidity. 
So uh, I'm gonna get back to work. Um, we got a bunch of stuff I gotta get done today. It's my day off. So um, if you're watching this today, when I'm filming this, if I get this, you know, uploaded today anyway, happy Father's Day to the fathers out there. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the business of doing fatherly stuff. So thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this content, please like, subscribe, throw me a comment or two. Um, if you have questions or anything I'm doing, please ask. I'm happy to share information and um, have a great day. Thank you.